Some of the misconceptions about hosting a foreign student are that we may not be or you may not have uh, the capacity to host uh, that person in such a way that they would feel welcome, they would feel comfortable, they would feel that you genuinely care about them. My house is open to help in some way, shape or form have them have a place where they can go to and, and feel some sense of um, connection and warmth. I was a student from a foreign country. I would hopefully want someone to invite me into their home because sometimes they don't, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, they may not be able to get home where they'll spend their time in the, the dorms alone. And who wants to do that? My name is Ana Paula. I am from Seoul, America. I'm from Brazil. Today I met the family and it was great. I had a special lunch, you know, with everybody. It was amazing with me. So warm, so polite, and I really enjoyed. Um, and we can dispel those myths by walking in love, by trusting, by knowing that God uh, is allowing us to open up our home to have someone come in that we can, in a sense, show uh, His welcoming love like a shepherd would, would shepherd a flock. I just think I'm a family person, so and I like people and I would like to travel. And sometimes you can't travel, so the best way to learn about other countries is to have some from a foreign student come in and share their country and what they do and how they live. So it's just like being in a foreign country, but not actually there. It has been good. It's like I uh, have a, a family again. It was uh, just a perfect moment. I think you now I am really much better than in the beginning because I had a kind of, of a homesick. It was really special. I think that through love, through allowing ourselves to be uh, motivated by love, I believe that will solve and dispel with any myths we may, might have in terms of fear, and uh, reprehensions about allowing a, a foreign exchange student to come into our home, love will con conquer all that.